The computer lab is one of the most sacred places in a school. Because that's where you can play video games! Yeah, I mean, what else do you expect me to do in school? Learn? No, old Flash games are a treat. They really are. There's something so charming about playing a game on a computer from the mid-2000s. A time where new grounds and stick figures ruled the internet. So many great games emerged online, and I'm honestly really happy that I grew up during this beautiful emergence of online content and experienced these games exactly how they were meant to be experienced. In school, during class, trying not to get caught by the teacher. So today we're gonna check out a handful of old school Flash games that made school just that much more bearable. These games walked so Five Nights at Freddy's could run. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's begin! Physics, the branch of science concerned with the nature and properties of matter and energy. The subject matter of physics, distinguished from that of chemistry and biology, includes mechanics, heat, light, sound, electricity, magnetism, and the structure of atoms. That sounds incredibly boring and stupid! You know what would make physics more interesting? If you add in a stick figure riding a sled. It's genius! This is Line Rider. Now this game holds a very special place in my heart because it was the first Flash game I ever played in the history of ever! The concept is simple, okay? You got this guy in a sled, super excited to adventure, but with nowhere to go. It's a sad story when you think about it. So it's our job to draw lines for him to ride. You draw a path and then hit play to see your magic at work. He's gonna do it. Wait for it. This is gonna be good. And he said, yeah, boy! Living that extreme lifestyle! That's what it's all about! Aw, oh, and it's over. The game uses really fun physics that you have to work with in order to make a successful track. However, I'm dumb and just draw lines hoping for the best. I was so addicted to this game that I didn't even care that my track sucked. Again, I mainly played it in school during class. I couldn't get caught because then I'd get in trouble, so mindlessly drawing a few lines here and there to see what would happen was more than enough. I call this one the YouTube, because it's an endless cycle of pain that I can't escape. Seriously, I need help, please rescue me! You can do some pretty incredible things in this game. I remember seeing YouTube videos recreating World 1-1 from Super Mario Bros and was just in awe. Like, I'm nowhere near that creative. I just make tracks that see the Lion Rider fly off the sled and go crazy. I'm sorry, buddy. While still on the topic of stick figure games, here's... Oh my gosh, I feel bad now. Defend your castle. Defend it from what? Well, obviously the dangerous and threatening unarmed stick figures. <laughs> you grab them with your mouse and fling them in the air so they can come crashing down and become stick figure pudding. Yeah, it's mindless and mean and I do feel bad since these guys are just stick figures that can't fight back, but gosh is it fun to just throw these guys around. I feel like I now have a god complex. You can buy all kinds of upgrades and repairs to your castle and they're pretty spendy, meaning you'll need to invest a lot of time into the game. Also, why are we calling them casualties? Doesn't that paint me out to be the bad guy? Oh well, sorry bro. Another stick figure game that was really popular because remember, the mid 2000s was just dominated by them, was Fancy Pants Adventure. I never got to play it because the school always had it blocked. From what I could tell though, it was a really charming 2D side-scrolling adventure game, going full force with the pencil drawn aesthetic. I played a little bit of it and had a lot of fun. The physics, animation, gameplay, it's all incredibly solid, and I can see why the game has a strong, loyal fanbase. Heck, this game is better than a lot of modern 2D side-scrollers I played on the Switch. Who would have thought pants was a great concept? I should start wearing some. Super Mario Bros. redefined gaming as a whole. Ever since then, every game company and series has tried to copy Mario. Dark Souls? Mario ripoff! Fortnite? Yeah, that's a Mario ripoff. Pop-Tarts? Absolutely a Mario ripoff! People just can't get enough Mario. I'll play anything with this adorable Italian plumber. <laughs> Okay, hold on a second. Super Mario World Flash. I wonder what this is gonna be! Well, would you look at that! What we have here is a Flash game of Super Mario World. Kinda. 
It uses all of the game's assets like the sprites, music, and artwork, but just throws you into a handful of uninteresting and uninspired levels. Yeah, if I wanted to play a mediocre Mario game, I'd just make levels myself in Mario Maker! I guess for being a free Mario game in 2006, it's not that bad, and I really shouldn't complain. I mean, what did I expect? It's a Flash game I'm playing during science when I should be writing a report! Playing a Mario game with a keyboard is hard. Okay, playing this game with a controller would be super easy, so I guess limiting the player with keyboard controls is where the difficulty truly lies. But for what it is, it's a charming piece of history. So one day I was really bored in class and didn't want to play Super Mario World Flash, but I did want to play a Mario game. So, I came across this. Cat Mario. Yeah, I guess if you want to call it that, you can. That's kind of a cat. This looks like Mario. Sure, I won't ask any more questions. So right away, this does just seem like a weird Mario 1 remake, accompanied with happy nightmares. All is well until, okay, what killed me? All right, that's fine. I'll just get the mushroom to have an extra hit and, what the heck is this? Now, we have a problem. Cat Mario is essentially just one big troll game. It lures you in with its familiarity to the first Mario Bros, particularly level one, a game and stage that a lot of people can beat with their eyes closed. And once you think you're in control, BAM! That happens, just out of nowhere. The game was released in 2007, the same year as Kaizo Mario. I guess that was a good year for people wanting to go blind with rage. So if you're looking for a good troll game and you just really want to get upset for some reason, then Cat Mario awaits. Spank the monkey. That's the game. I honestly don't remember why or how I came across this game as a kid, but here we are. Hi there, I'm Spank the Monkey. Well, already I feel unsafe. So Spank is this inflatable monkey, I guess. And we need to grab this hand and, well... Spank, Spank the Monkey, preceded by a copywritten song I had to edit out and replace. Nice one! I spanked the monkey at 220 miles per hour. Oh my gosh, is that a crime? Again, that's it. You just fling your mouse across the room and see how fast you can slap this monkey. My record is 383 miles per hour. If you're interested for some reason, then go ahead and try and beat it. I've always felt bad for doing this, but he's smiling about it, so what do I feel? It's like when a girl wants me to choke her for fun. What, you expect me to not feel bad about it? All right, new topic, new grounds. Is that better or worse than what we were just talking about? <laughs> Newgrounds was a website for renegades. Whatever the inventor of the internet had in mind when they created it, who was it, like Bill Gates? Newgrounds was the naughty stepchild who sought to rebel and make stuff like this. His girlfriend really does look like that. She has a fat ass and on a f- No! Newgrounds cartoons and games had this gross attraction to them. Funny voices, crude artwork, dirty humor. It was scientifically constructed for teenage boys to think it was the coolest thing ever. But I won't go into too much detail right now because I do have a video planned on old online cartoons, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, there was one game on the site I really loved, and at the time, didn't even know was a Flash game. Alien Hominid. The premise is simple. This little alien crash lands on Earth and the government wants to capture it. So we blast them. The game is a 2D running gun. Just blast everyone in your way. The visuals are really what sets it apart from other 2D shooters. It's got that trademark Newgrounds look. Everything looks crude, but in a cute way. And every human has that Oni slash Eagle Raptor face. You know, those ones. The game is charming and fun enough, albeit pretty difficult. Alien Hominid doesn't go full on Newgrounds with its offensive and weird humor, considering the game actually got released on the GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation 2 on November 21st, 2004. 
That's really crazy, and honestly how I first experienced the game, renting it from a blockbuster. And then one day in class, my friend told me you could play it online. Granted, not through Newgrounds, but instead some weird bootleg website that was guaranteed giving the school computer some kind of virus. But sometimes, simplicity is best. Finding joy in the most basic games. Yeah. Helicopter. You constantly move forward and need to hold down the right mouse button to raise higher and let it go to drop lower. All while avoiding obstacles. It's Angry Birds. It's Angry Birds before Angry Birds was a thing. And I'm so bad at it. But it's not my fault! Look at these hitboxes! I absolutely take no responsibility for me being bad at this game. Alright, maybe I do a little. Now there's obviously a lot more classic Flash games that I didn't talk about. CoolMathGames.com, Happy Wheels, some more stick figure games. The list goes on, but there's always room on that list for part two. So let me know your favorite classic Flash game in the comments below, and I'll make another video, and I'll probably talk about it. So, you know, for now, drink your milk, help others, and spank that monkey.